here how I'm leaving that room behind and uh, this is how I go. Six zero three. They have given me the negative report. <laughs> the agent is trying to get some signatures and stamps from the authority. Oh. So I was staying in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. And uh, I stayed for 14 days, but not a single day I went out to look around. Never thought that I will be staying in Kuala Lumpur for 14 days and won't even go look out a single thing in the city. Let's hope this situation gets under control soon. Okay. I told you earlier that uh, I will be moving to another hotel near the port, but uh, just now the agent told me that uh, we will be joining today itself. So finally we will be heading directly for the port now. that there's a container terminal somewhere nearby. Oh look, the gantries are already visible now. So boxes and boxes and gantries. <laughs> I love this about container terminals. So clean and tidy. In the past, I've worked on bulk carriers as well, but I eventually moved to container ships and uh, sticking to it. I have uh, done almost six container ships by now. And uh, to be honest, I'm loving this work scenario of container ships. Very quick and uh, you're always on your toes. The contract finishes like a breeze. Um, on the bulk carriers, we used to do like six to seven. Oh, we are almost at the wharf now. See those ships on the jetty? We are inside the port and now heading towards the wharf. So on the bulk carriers, we used to do like six to seven ports in a six months contract but uh, here it's like six ports in 20 days perhaps even more it is uh, quite hectic you're always on your toes um, it's just that I'm, I'm 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 liking the scenario container terminals can be seen from far away because of these gantry cranes as you can see so we are at the port club it has uh, two ports actually, north port and west port. Uh, this one is the north port. The west port mostly caters the ships coming from uh, Europe and the Americas heading towards China. They just stop by briefly at west port and uh, once they are done with the operations they just carry on their journey uh, towards China.
so here we are on the bridge of this humble ship. <laughs> Actually, this is my second contract on this ship as a second mate. I signed off in February from this ship and I was home all this time during these COVID lockdowns. So finally back. I was missing all this, to be honest. Finally very happy and excited for the next voyage. I've been told that there are few more ports added to our voyage. Because of this COVID, they have changed their uh, route. We'll be doing uh, much smaller and very remote areas. By the way, these are the tugs running quite hasty. Perhaps a ship is coming to berth alongside. The cargo operations are still going on. Perhaps we'll leave by the evening today. I've been told that there are four more ports added to our itinerary. The general uh, run we used to do. On top of that, these ports are uh, very small, situated in very remote areas of East Malaysia, the Borneo Island. And do let me know what do you want to see in my future videos. I will try and make things according to your taste. Though, because our ship will be doing uh, almost 9 ports in about 19 days. Every 2 days we will be calling a port. So, it will be a quite hectic run. Let's see how I manage. I hope I will get enough time to make videos and uh, I will try to show all these ports to you because these ports are not common. Even I will be going there for the first time. So, let's see how they are. We might like them, we might not. I will try and capture as much as I can. We will be leaving for East Malaysia, Bintulu, the Sabah state of East Malaysia. I will try and show you how that port looks like. Though I doubt I will be getting any time, but still I will try and do my best, whatever I can. So stay tuned guys. <laughs>